Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change language in Taobao app. Before we start, hurry up and check out all our software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we change the language in the Taobao app here? So in this case, let's go open up Taobao here. And just to give you some idea here, with how Taobao is currently set up, you won't have the option to actually convert it into English. So by default, it's going to be in Chinese. Now, in this case, there is actually a cool trick or app here that we could use to basically translate the app itself. So what do we use or what do we actually need to use here? So in this case, we need to go ahead and open up Google Play Store here and you wanna search for the following, which is going to be High Dictionary. Now, in this case, you want to go ahead and click on the install button here. And once it's actually installed, we are or we should be able to start translating some uh, text here into English, which is a pretty cool trick here. But th there are going to be some settings that you need to change. Now, in this case, you go open up the high dictionary here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on the open button that you see here because we need to allow permissions on the translator app here. Let's go ahead and click on open. And from here, you want to look for High Dictionary. So let's just scroll down a bit here, click on High Dictionary, and allow it. Now, once you've allowed that, you can go and exit this page here. And what we need to do next is we now need to open a High Dictionary. Now, from here, it's going to give you some information first. So it's going to offer a premium. So let's go click on the X at the top right here. You could go and allow permission, uh, pop-ups or notifications if you want to. But in this case, you go and click whatever here. Go and click on look up here and make sure that this is actually turned on. So by default, it's going to be already turned on, Just but just in case, just make sure it's actually turned on. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to uh, basically uh, go back. I'm gonna open up the Taobao app here. And what we need to do is we need to actually uh, start uh, using it. So in this case, at the left side here, you'll notice like a small nudge or white nudge at the left side. You want to go ahead and press and hold it. And you want to go ahead and hover over the text they want to translate. But if this is the first time that you're accessing this one, it's going to say user consent here. I would suggest you to click on accept. And from here, what we need to do is we need to allow high dictionary again. Let's go ahead and click on high dictionary and make sure that it's actually turned on. It's going to give you this pop-up here, but don't worry. Just uh, wait for it. But uh, if you're installing other apps, make sure to read or make sure that the app is actually sa safe. Let's go and click on OK. And from here, let's go ahead and exit this one. Now, in this case, what we need to do next is we need to use it again. Now, if you see any pop-ups again, you want it to actually access, actually access again. But in this case, let's go ahead and press and hold on it. And you want to uh, hover over the text that you want to translate. That's, for example, I want to choose this one. So in this case, let's go ahead and over this one instead. Oh, and as you can see, we now have that text translated. So it's going to say log in to about to open a wonderful world. Now you could do this for other texts as well, as you can see right now. It's going to translate a few things here. But yeah, so you can use this magnifying glass to translate whatever you want on the within the app itself, because currently they don't support the default or the actual translation. So we need to use a third party app for that. But in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.